Howdy y'all, welcome to the floor. Today, we got first looks. Magpul PRS light stock. Look at that, look at that. okay. Uh, here's what you get in the box, obviously. You get the box, which is really cool. It's got a cool graphic. It's got cool more graphics, more words. This dude looks like he's trying to do something with a gun. I don't know, there's a big old reflection. There we go. PRS light stock is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of a PKM stock. Once you take the cover off, you get the Magpul box. You open the box by pulling this little flap here and flip it open. It's going to come in a bag. I don't know why it comes in a bag, but it comes in a bag. So, you get rid of the bag. Yeah. And, so, here is the stock. It's actually pretty light. I'm not going to lie. I like it. I like the feel. Um, yeah, so... It's just like the Magpul PRS, it applies the same way as any other PRS. You can use a uh, rifle length or a, um, um, or a carbine length. I prefer carbine length. Or if you're a smart person, do the Voltor A5 uh, buffer tube. You also get instructions. You don't need them. So, this is adjustable for length of pull and the... Um, your, your cheek height for putting stuff behind scopes and whatnot. In order to adjust it, you need a 530 seconds um, Allen key. 530 seconds, standard, because this is America. America's stuff with the things uses American measurements. This is 530 seconds. So, here's how you use the Magpul PRS light. So, once you have the stock attached to the gun, um, I don't really have a gun to put it on, so um, that's in the works. But, to get the length of pull, you have these two screws here. They do absolutely nothing. Don't touch them. It's this guy with the cool little bevel that you need to touch. You take that 530 seconds Allen key, shove it in there. And give it an old left hand twist. Give it the old twist. That way you can, here we go, adjust your length of pull in and out. And once you have it set to the place that you want it, oh, I touched one of the screws that don't need to be touched. You tighten it up. You give it a roll right hand twist. Make sure that's locked in and you can just beat the ever living crap out of it if you want. Okay, now, cheek riser. Okay, you see this little cap right here? Ooh, oh, let me focus. This little cap right here? Don't touch it. It does nothing. In order to get the cheek riser, there's a there's a 530 seconds um, Allen key head in there. Touch that one. Once you loosen it up, if it'll focus, then you can just... Whoops. Then you can adjust the height. Just like that. It's got cool little teeth on it. That you can adjust the height in and out. And then once you get it set, you just tighten it down. Okay, the last part of adjustment that you can use on this Magpul PRS light is the butt, butt pad up and down kind of deal. So if you have this really high, you want to have this right about the same height as this. Uh, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But in order to adjust it, you need a one eighth in one eight one eighths. I don't. F yeah, you need a one eighth Allen key to adjust that. So once you loosen those two bolts, you can slide it up and down to your heart's content. You can twist it around, and it only has like a couple degrees of uh, twisting that it can do. But you can do it up and down, in and out, everything that you like on this stock. There you go. That's how you use and abuse your Magpul PRS light stock. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and assault that like button. Um, I don't know. Click the bell. I don't know what they say. What are we doing with the bell now? I don't know. Just do the things with the stuff. In the, I, I don't know. Leave a comment. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day.